Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christopher Columbus, and I'm the one that discovered America. While they're preparing the food, let me give you some of my experiences. I was born in Genoa on the Italian Riviera in 1451. And when I was 10 years old, I had, went, had to go to sea because my family was poor. And if you didn't have an income, you didn't eat at the kitchen table. I traveled all over the Mediterranean to England and Portugal. And in Portugal, I resided for a few years. I married a nice woman, Filippa, had a baby boy, Diego. And on one of my trips at sea, my wife died. I was left with a little baby, Diego. But I was studying how to get to China by sea. The overland road to China had been cut by the Muslims. You remember Marco Polo from Venice, Italy, took three years by horse to get to China. I wanted to go in a quicker way by sea. So I went to the king of Portugal and I said, give me some money and ships so I can sail to China. And he said, the earth is flat and you're gonna go to a point and then fall off. But he wouldn't tell me where I would land. <laughs> so there I was, no job, no money, and poor, living in a convent, no, living in a monastery with the monks feeding me and my little boy. I stayed for two years, the monks fed me than studying how to get to China. And now I heard of Queen Isabella of Castile. But I don't want to do business with a woman. The woman is only good for the kitchen. How can, how can we do business with a woman? But now I see that we have the Italian club in Palm Coast is run by the, a woman, and she's doing a good job. Took us, right through the, took us right through the pandemic. And then the Heritage Committee that put on this great affair tonight is run by a lady, Jane Olicino. And I think that all the people involved in the Heritage Committee should stand up now and be acknowledged with a hand clap. Who are the people that worked on the Heritage Committee? The decorations here, the kitchen. Okay, give them a good hand, folks. Give them a good hand. You know, Queen Isabella wanted to be here tonight, but she said that the Italian club in Palm Coast was too classy for her. She didn't have the right gown. But I'm gonna tell you something about Queen Isabella. She was engaged to be married seven times since she was six years old by her brother, the king. And finally she married Ferdinand of Aragon. It was a love match. And Isabella agreed to give me money for ships and said any place that I went in her kingdom, the town would have to give me room and board. She gave me three ships, the Santa Maria, the Nina and the Pinta, but the biggest one was smaller than from here to that exit sign. <laughs> Think of the cruise ships that you've been on, 700, 1,000 feet long. Here, from here to the exit sign. And on October 12, 1492, we landed in what is now called the Bahamas. The royal family had promised me 10% of all the money. Now think of the money that they got from the silver in Mexico and the gold in South America. 
and I got none of it, nor did my family. So we sued the royal family. <laughs> and you know, lawsuits sometimes take a long time. This lawsuit took almost 300 years. <laughs> it was settled in 1790, talking of long lawsuits. So now, <clears throat> people acknowledge that I have done quite a bit here in this America. In Canada, you have the province of British Columbia. In the United States, you have the District of Columbia, the capital. The capital of South Carolina is called Columbia. The capital of the state of Ohio is called Columbus. In South America, you have the nation of Columbia. But now, let me tell you, I have been mentioning the word America. Where did it come from? America Eight best years food. after I discovered America, I met Igor Vespucci from Florence, mapped out the coastline of Palm Coast and further south. <laughs> he sold the maps in Europe and some Germans got a hold of them and they gave the continent here, the new world, the name America. Now I think by now, ladies and gentlemen, you're getting hungry. I'm going to finish in two sentences. If you are Italian, be a proud Italian. But above all, be a good American. Thank you and good night.